<laughs> the Chris Vector. I have to argue against. Uh, and Sam has to argue for. <sighs> Sir. Now, I'm going to clarify here and say I'm guessing this will be the current Crytac, the current AEG Crytac. Chris Vector. I believe so. As opposed to the old gas blowback. Well, let me just start by saying it's a fucking icon. Uh, it's it's a standout icon. I think you pronounced I saw wrong, but yeah, carry on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's an icon. <laughs> it, it what it works flawlessly. It's been around a long time, and the demand is still there. Mm. There are multiple editions, limited and otherwise, which tweak the recipe but make it just just mm. ever so slightly better. Um, even you yourself were saying yesterday about. Uh, we should get a gas one for the shop because it's just such a stylish uh, because, thing. Because the independent adjudicator has uh, ID'd the Crytac AEG as being the one that we're talking about. If we could get a gas Sil- one... Silhouette's a it's, silhouette. It's, it's an icon. But, but, but <laughs> the AEG one, it's, it's nonsense bespoke gearbox is almost impossible to mod or upgrade or change in any way. Even if you want, like, the HPA market out there at the moment that wants to do all sorts of this kind of stuff, you have to randomly 3D print parts to even remotely make that work. It's awkward to sort of crunch down and get into this weird position. Um, Mag changes, you've got to add bits if you want to change it and and do things. Um, The mags themselves, awkward for pouches. Um, you've got to get like weird. I mean, you like peanut, it's weird anyway. So you can have, you've got to get these weird mags that are sort of stuck up in your face, and you're like, oh, it's just awkward. It's just, it's just, it's just an just awkward platform. It's not static. Yeah. On it, when you buy a Crytek AG, you are not going to HPA it. If you are HPA in them, stop it. <laughs> it's just, it, it, you get out of the box, you're presented with what is close to God tier. All nice, it works. They just, they just, it just works. It's, I mean, what kind of a nonsense platform has two round bursts rather than three? Why, why, why stop at two? Why stop? Why not have a three round burst? <laughs> Get good. The the Falcon control system does two round bursts, and which you you were a big fan of. Yes, but I can set it to three round bursts. The, I mean, the Crytac it's stuck. You're stuck. Two round or nothing. But you just, you can just. No, <laughs> skip past that. Skip past that setting and go to the fun setting. Yeah, because AG got brr, brr. and that's that, in a weird way. I, it it is a mo, it's a modern icon, great SMG platform. That particular that they one had to is make a great airsoft platform. That they had to make some bonkers weird gear sp- bespoke gearbox that it was is w- now it, almost imp- it's impossible to upgrade aftermarket if you mm, wanted to do anything cool. To nothing's impossible. You got to put some serious effort in, but it's not as straightforward as like what the guys have done with the bolster or anything like that. No, it's built off a Crytek platform. They couldn't do a vector, but but I I bet we could challenge them. But I don't think they. I don't think they need to. It's a brave call, is that? Mm. A lot of confidence in the product there, Sam. If we had it up there, I think it'd sell my argument completely. But you all know what it looks like. Uh, right, okay. Tough call for that one. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm sorry, Sam. Really? But Yeah, based on oh. the arguments themselves, I'm going to have to give it to Stu again. Which is a shame, because I really like the Vector. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you gotta, you got to try harder, Sam. you got to really, really argue your point. I don't know. 